and we are going to do a reading for Saturday because we do it every day and so far it's been nearly 66 days 66? ah, today is 67th day so it's Saturday it's week 49 day 6 which is Saturday and uh, it's one page English practice so now read it stopped here and for those who came here and watched it by some mistake this is daily reading so far I've been keeping it up for already 67 days it's a daily reading of a one page of a dictionary and the reason I'm doing it is uh, that I think it is a really good way of training brains like doing a puzzle but actually a useful puzzle most puzzles are just done they they practice and, and train brain a little bit but there's no long benefit in terms of expanding uh, vocabulary or expanding skills it's just more like maintaining it, maintaining it but reading a page of dictionary actually expand skills because you can you get new words you get you can if English is your second language it, as it is with me you can uh, double check the pronunciation of certain words you get uh, sentences where the word is used and you can also introduce your own sentences into it which I am going to do now so this is uh, my new uh, addition or um, modulation of, of this exercise where after reading a, a word I'm also gonna make one sentence myself where I'm gonna use the definition which forces me to actually pay real good attention to to the definition because uh, I noticed that that when I read it without intention of making or actually using the word in a sentence uh, I just tend to read it but but I, I s sort of skip the meaning a little bit and uh, I want to avoid that so uh, so for every word I'm go gonna make a sentence and uh, yeah so let's try it and go for it aqueous in chemistry an aqueous solution or cream has water as its base an aqueous solution uh, containing various sodium salts so I, I it's a chemistry but T is aqueous solution because the base of T is water Aque aqueous aqueous solution okay. aquifier in geology an aquifier is an area of rock underneath the surface of the earth which absorbs and holds water technical C also feature box at water aquifier so uh, in a planter uh, just like in geology also in the planter you can have an area below the soil which holds the, the water we could call it aquifier Aquila, aquiline aquiline if if someone has an aquiline nose or profile, they know it is large, thin, and usually curved. He has he had a thin aquiline aquiline nose. Uh, is it only nose? Yes, it's, it seems like it's aquiline aquiline. A person passing the shop on the street had a prominent aquiline nose. Arab. Arab Arabs are people who speak Arabic and who come from the Middle East and parts of North Africa. I saw many Arabs walking around and going to, uh, to the shop. 
Second definition. Arab means belonging or relating to Arabs or to the countries or customs. The Arab world is particularly keen on the use of cardamom with tea. Arab, Arab type of coffee can also contain cardamom just like their tea. Arabesque. An arabesque is a position in ballet da dancing. The dancer stands on one leg with the other leg lifted and stretched out backwards and the arms stretched out in front of them. The girl on the street was doing an arabesque, uh, arabesque in such way that all the uh, people walking by just looked in awe. Arabian, Arabian. Arabian means belonging or relating to Arabia, especially to Saudi Arabia, the Arabian Peninsula. Arabian royal family are rich people who gain their wealth through resources and oil. Arabic. Arabic Arabic is a language that is spoken in the Middle East and parts of North Africa. Adjective. Something that is Arabic belongs, belongs or relates to the language, writing or culture of the Arabs. The development of modern Arabic literature. Arabic music. Arabic music. There's not much Arabic visual arts because painting of objects is prohibited in Islam and most Arabic art, visual art, uh, is, uh, is geometric or is made of Arabic letters. Uh, an Ar Arabic numeral is one of the written figures such as 1, 2, 3 or 4. Arabic numerals. Arabic numeral actually come from Indian language where they were appropriate, appropriated by Arabs and turned into turned into uh, 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 turned into uh, numbers that we are using these days. In particular they were appropriated from uh, Sans Sanskrit. Uh, Arabist. An Arabist is a person who supports Arab interests or knows a lot about Arabic language. Okay, so there's a, there's a consider considerable number of Arabists in the United States universities. Arable. Arable farming involves growing crops such as wheat and barley rather than keeping animals or growing fruit and vegetables. Arable land is land that is used for arable farming. Is it even focused? Yeah, okay, so arable farming. Arable farming is very different from growing uh, from growing fruits and vegetables because they use heavy machinery on the large fields where they grow crops that are traditionally harvested by heavy machinery and uh, also planted arable means that they have to uh, till the soil. Arab Spring Arab Spring is a period of time in and around 2011 or 2012 during which people in the Middle East and Africa tried to achieve democratic reforms. Social networking sites played an, un an important role in the events of the Arab Spring. The Arab Spring was mostly coordinated from outside of Arabia and actually resulted in quite a long, long war.
where which also produced uh, ter terrorist organizations like ISIS. An arbiter is a person or institution that judges and settles a quarrel between two other people or groups. He was the ultimate arbiter on both theological and political matters. Arbiters, when there is a dispute, it can be resolved by arbiters who act as a, as a mediator between two parties who are quarreling. An arbiter of taste or style is someone who has a lot of influence in deciding what is fashionable or socially desirable. Arbiter. Arbiter of taste oh, or style. She was arbiter of style who wrote a column in a local newspaper uh, advising people on fashion choices. Um, arbitrage. In finance, arbitrage is the activity of buying shares or currency in one financial market and selling it at profit in another. So arbitrage is also using in betting where people can bet on the same same match at uh, at various at different brokerages which have different uh, odds and thus it is impossible to fail arbitrage in finance and it was arbitrage okay so it's arbitrage and this is in fact called arbitrage uh, abi arbitrage arbitrage Arbitrage, arbitrage. So, in finance, an arbitrage is someone who buys currencies, securities, or commodities on one country's market in order to make money by immediately selling them at the profit on another country's market. Arbitrage, arbitrage, arbitrage. Oh, interesting. Arbitrary. If you describe an action, rule, or decision as arbitrary you think that it is not based on any principle, plan or system. It often seems unfair because of this disapproval. Arbitrary arrests and detention without trial were common. Arbitrary choices of food often result in unhealthy choices. People always should read labels. Arbitrate arbitrate. When someone in authority arbitrates between two people or groups who are in dispute, they consider all the facts and make an official decision about who is right. He arbitrates between investors and members of the association. The tribunal had been set up to arbitrate in the dispute. Uh, Johnny arbitrated between his friends where he learned all the facts and friends gave him a right to decide who is right or not. So he arbitrated it. Arbitration. 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 Arbitration is the judging of a dispute between people or groups by someone who is not involved. The matter is likely to go to arbitration. It's a noun. Okay, so arbitration between the stall owners resulted in a decision by the arbiter to give the rights to the stall owner number one. Arboreal. 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 Arboreal animals live in trees. Oh, what a cool word. Oh, arboreal. Arboreal marsupials which resemble monkeys. Koalas are arboreal animals because they live mainly exclusively on trees, although they descend on the ground sometimes. Arboreal means relating to trees. It's a formal word. The arboreal splendor of the valley. I liked the episode of the Orville with uh, uh, Arbor Day, which is a f joke at, uh, at about trees and arboreal matters where they sent a seed through a through a transporter 
to another ship and they made it grow and the tree grew so big that it tore the other ship apart and the guy I forgot his name said happy Arbor Day Arboretum 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 Arboretums an arboretum is a specially designed garden of different types of trees. Arboretum. What a cool word. Arboretum. 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 So, I want to build a fruit forest and turn, which will be kind of arboretum of different trees living on a small, on a small space. Arboretum, Arboretum, Arbor. An arbor is a shelter in a garden which is formed by leaves and stems of plants growing close together over a light framework. Arbor. Ah, oh, how cool! I wish there was a picture of it. An arbor is a shelter in a garden which is formed by leaves and stems of plants growing close together over a light framework. Arbor. So arbor could be a little. Arbor in the backyard was made of willows. It is trees growing on a light structure which create a, a, a room. Arc. An arc is smooth, smoothly curving line or movement. An Aleutian chain is a long arc of islands in the North Pacific. So smoothly curving lines, arc, arc. There was an arc of trees at the back of the garden, which served as a wind windshield against nor northerly gusts. Arcade. An arcade is covered passage where there are shops or market stalls. A shopping arcade. There is covered passage where there are shops or market. So in Hobart, there is an arcade, arcade on Elizabeth Street, which is a street with a roof where people are protected from the elements and they can do some shopping. Arcade. An arcade is a covered passage where there are shops or market stalls, a shopping arcade. And and that arcade arc arcade all right okay Arca arcade game Ar arcade game an arcade game is a computer game of the type that is often played in amusement arcades arcade game up on the top of the shopping mall was an arcade arcade or was a playground full of arcade ga arcade games arcade games arcane something that is arcane is a secret or mysterious until a few mo months ago few people outside the arcane world or contempor com of contemporary music had heard of Goretsky what is the arcane? Until a few months, people, a few people outside the arcane world of contemporary music had heard of Goretsky. What's well, arcane world of contemporary music? That's like a, sounds like a, uh, contradiction. So, um, arcane insights of of the computer. To me, the insights of the computer looked quite arcane. As I didn't know what various parts are supposed to do. Arch. An arch is a structure that is curved at the top and is supported on either side by a pillar, post, or wall. There were many arches on on the old church. One of them was so tall that it that it easily dwarfed dwarfed all the others. An arch is a curved line of movement. The arch of tree of branches over over the walkway. 
the arch of your foot is the curved section at the bottom in the middle. Many many years ago uh, when I walked the arch of my foot was really hurting but then through training I overcame and the arch is all fine now. If you arch a part of your body such as your back or if it arches you bend it so that it forms a curve. Don't arch your back, keep your spine straight. I know a boy who sometimes walks with his back arched and every time I see that I correct him and tell him not to arch his back. back. If you arch your eyebrows or if they 